In today's video, we're going to learn how to perform calculations involving liquid medications. We're going to walk through a problem step by step. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Jess. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploaded videos. Okay, let's get started. So let's take a look at this problem together. Calculate how many milliliters should be dispensed. Now you have the Rx, it's amoxicillin, 400 milligram per 5 ml. The SIG is 2 teaspoons by mouth every 8 hours for 10 days. The question is how many mls should be dispensed total for the, full, for the prescription? Is it A, B, C, or D? Try to solve it yourself, drop your answer in the comments, and then we'll work through it together. Okay, so let's take a look together. Now, the SIG is given as two teaspoons by mouth every eight hours for 10 days. Now, I'm going to give you a little chi chi. When you are given a problem and they're asking you to calculate ML to be dispensed, Pay attention to the SIG. Now, the dose could be given in ml. In this case, in this problem, it's given as teaspoon. It could be given in ml. It could be given as milligram. Could be given as teaspoon, tablespoons. So pay attention to what's given in the problem. And a lot of the times, you have to do some conversions. So here, you need to know your unit conversions. So teaspoon to ml. One teaspoon is five ml. So that's very important to know. So now we know that the dose is two teaspoons. So if one teaspoon is five ml, that means two teaspoons is five times two, that's 10, that's 10 ml. By mouth, every eight hours. So every eight hours, that's three doses per day. So 10 ml times three, so that's 30 ml. Now, Pay very close attention to this. The question was how many ml should be dispensed total for the prescription? We know the prescription is the medication is going to be given for 10 days. So now we have to multiply 30 ml by 10. So 30 times 10, that's 300 ml. The reason why I'm saying to pay close attention because Sometimes the question could vary a little bit. So for this same problem, they could have asked you how many ml will the patient be taking per day? If that was the question, then the answer would just be 30 ml. You would stop right there. But the question that's being asked is how many ml must be dispensed? So now it's for the entire prescription, you have to multiply it by the day supply, which is 10 days. So pay close attention so to make sure that you're answering the question that is being asked. So the answer then is C, 300 ml. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.